Hello everyone, Richard Evans here, and today I am pleased to announce the release of the NDI HX camera app for Android. This application allows you to turn the front and rear facing camera and microphone of your Android device into a wireless NDI source to use in your productions. Let me show you how to get it and how to use it. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is where to download the NDI HX application. So you'll just go into the Google Play Store, and in the top of the screen here, just type in NDI HX camera, which I've already searched for. And it'll be the first one on the list here from New Tech Inc. Boom. Now this application is going for $19.99, and it will give you all of the capabilities of using an NDI camera on your phone. So, or Android device. Okay, so now let's go over and find that application. So I have it installed over here. Uh, go ahead and launch NDI HX camera, and let's take a look at some of the details of it. All right, and so here we are in the New Tech Studio, and let me give you a little breakdown of this awesome app that is now on my Android device. So let me go ahead and take, click on this uh, gear icon in the bottom right corner. And when I do that, you'll see a whole bunch of different options. Let me go ahead and switch my camera around real quick. All right, so here I am on my awesome green screen here in New Tech Studios. And to give you a layout of the land of the, how this application is going to work, let's start over in the left corner here. So you'll see over here I have a, a slider to adjust my zoom. So I'll go ahead and do that. My finger is going to cover the camera a little bit. But I can zoom into shots and zoom out. Or you can use the pinch method and just grab on the screen and pinch, and that will let you zoom in as well. All right, now you'll also see in the bottom left, there is a, a section for you to adjust some of the lighting within your particular shot. So for example, I can go down to negative one. I got a bunch of lights in here. I can move it down a little bit or bring it up, just depending on how much you want to do. Whoa, I am not on the sun. All right, let's back it up there. All right, so that one's pretty good. Uh, so the next thing is you'll see that there is a light bulb here on the next section. So let's go ahead and touch that, and ah, it turns the, the flashlight on. So you can do that on either the uh, reverse camera or the front-facing camera, depending on your device if you have it. All right, and then this grid over here will allow you to bring up a grid on your screen so you can frame your shots a little bit better, position things uh, into your thirds, your quadrants, things like that. Okay? Now, right here in the middle of the screen, this uh, blue button, that one, when you have your uh, uh, NDI source selected on, say, like NDI Studio Monitor, for example, uh, that means that you're going to be broadcasting uh, over NDI. Now, if I click that blue button, it's going to turn gray, and then you will no longer be broadcasting over NDI. But all you have to do is click it again, and you're back on track. Okay, uh, the next one is going to be this microphone here, and that will mute your audio going into the, your uh, Android device. And then, of course, I showed you this one here. This uh, camera icon will simply swap your camera back and forth. Uh, and then also you'll notice on the bottom right corner here, this little icon, uh, that has uh, settings for your different speed for your, uh, your, your network settings that's going to be broadcasting over NDI. So you can either have it at low, medium, or high. Now to connect this to your uh, device, all you have to do is just make sure that you're on the exact same network as your NDI enabled device, for example, like a, a TriCaster or a Viz Vector. Or in this example, I'm going to show you NDI Studio Monitor. So let me put my phone down and we'll go over to NDI Studio Monitor and show you how that's done. All right, so now I'm on my laptop on NDI Studio Monitor, NDI Studio Monitor being an application that you can download for free at ndi.tv that will let you browse your network and view in real time NDI feeds coming into your system. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to grab my mouse and go to the top left corner of the screen and click on this drop down menu. And I can then search for my particular device, which is my G5 phone here in my desk. Select that and... Boom, we are good to go. And now I am bringing in the video from my Android device into an NDI environment such as NDI Studio Monitor. But any NDI environment will be able to bring in this signal. So perfect for doing some live broadcasts or doing some meetings uh, via Zoom, for example, Microsoft Teams, etc. A fantastic way of being able to use the high quality camera and microphone off of your Android device into an NDI environment. So Android users, rejoice! This application is going to open up so many new creative ways for you to use Android devices in your production via NDI. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.